Hey, what's up guys? So, we got our workout video today and due to unforeseen circumstances, we're at my house for an extended period of time. But that doesn't mean that we can't get a decent workout in. So I got a couple dumbbells here and we're gonna hit a couple exercises. So they're quick, they're easy. And again, you can make them as hard as you want to. You remember, it's all about you guys. So yeah, the first one we're gonna talk about is um, we have an Arnold press, which is gonna work our deltoids. And I don't really know if it's named after him for it, but it's it's a pretty good one. Um, the next one that we got is a, um, is a bent over dumbbell row bilateral. So that's gonna work our, our back, you know, rhomboids, latimus dorsi, teres major, blah, blah, blah. And then the next one we got is um, a, a crunch and a push up. You know, crunches work the rectus abdominis, abdominal muscles, cool name for that. Um, then our push up's gonna work our, you know, pectoralis major, just, just our, our pecs, you know, so. We're gonna have those four, and again, um, just make it as hard as as you want to. It's it's a pretty quick and easy one. Like I said, I I do it when I can't get to the gym, you know. So yeah, let's um let's bust into talking about that. Okay, so our next exercise is the push up, and the push up actually has like a lot of things that you can talk about to do it properly and to to feel it. So the first thing I want to tell you is there are like three different variations if you're, you know, beginner, intermediate, and an expert. So the, um, the, the beginner exercise, especially if you can't get down, wall push-ups are totally fine. Leaning against the wall, just coming out a little bit and pushing against it. That's, that's totally fine, especially if you're beginner. The next one is uh, um, on the knee push-up. And so that one, everything I'm gonna tell you, just, you, you can do it on the knee. So just, you know, just, that's how it is. But for the one I'm, I'm talking about right now, that's gonna be on the feet. So when we get into that hand placement, it's totally fine, you know, straight down from the shoulders. Um, but the one thing I wanna talk about, again, I, when I talked about the dip is when you're, when you're doing a dip, you want your, your elbows nice and in because that's, that's when you're gonna feel it in your triceps. And so that's the same concept when it comes to we're doing a push up. So if our, there's, all, there's a tricep push-up. So if we have our shoulders in, we're hitting more triceps. But what we wanna do today is we're hitting more um, chest. And so I'm not saying you're flaring your elbows way out here to hit chest, then you're gonna run into like a little bit of shoulder problems. So boom, all right here. So you're in between all the way up and down. So it's like a 45 right here. And that's where you're gonna get most of your maximum push. So once I go down, that's where I am, 45 degree angle. Um, keeping your um, nice rigid back, tightening the core. Um, you want your head, you know, straight, like straight up and down like this. We don't want the, you know, don't look forward. Let's keep that, that nice angle to us. And the, the hardest one I could think to tell you is retract your shoulder blades. That's gonna help you hit your chest more. You can do it during bench press makes you more stable. It's a little bit hard in the beginning to, to think retract your shoulder blades, but trust me, it's, it's gonna help you develop your chest more. And also the thing that I wanna tell you too is when we're doing these exercises, um, we're not trying to bust out a million reps here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get some good solid reps because we want nice triceps, we want um, nice shoulders, we want a nice chest. So not trying to bust out a bunch of reps, Nice, good, solid reps. So again, what I'm doing is getting down, um, straight up and down from my shoulders, going back, head down, retracting the shoulder blades, pulling them together. You don't wanna pull them up, pull them kind of down. And then, so now, nice, nice tight core, nice straight back, breathing in, nice, ooh. So that, that's how I want those push-ups. Okay, so let's get into the next one. Okay, so the next one we're gonna get into is one of my favorites. It's um, it's a it's an old one, but it's a good one. Um, doesn't have me doing sort of all sorts of wacky stuff. It's um, a crunch, which is gonna work your rectus rectus abdominis or your abs. You know, just trying to be smart sometimes. But it's a simple 
but effective exercise, especially if you do it, if you do it properly. So I admit when I first started out, man, I used to have our abs, but that was literally just doing like 400 quick, quick abs. You know, it took me a while to feel the burn. And then after a while, you know, after research and, you know, just time in the gym, I found out that, you know, you do things slow and properly, that that's gonna be better than doing a thousand, thousand reps. So again, I always get back to the eccentric contraction and concentric contraction. Eccentric is coming down, concentric is coming up. Or if you wanna think about it, negative and positive, and you wanna control that. The more you control it, man, it's gonna, it's gonna give you a lot of burn, which is good. So, okay, so how we set this up, I'm down here. Um, I guess you could have someone hold your feet, but I mean, I personally don't like to. So you can, how your hand placement, you can place it however you want, cross in right here on the chest, or even a little bit harder, right here on the head. Just kind of kind of grabbing it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up, feel it at the top, one, give, give it a, like a one or two count. Really feel it, don't come up and just hit it and go back down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up, one, two, come back slowly, go back up again, one, two, come back, one, two, and that's how we're gonna do it. So when you when you touch the ground, don't stay there too long. Shoot back up and stay there, and then come back down. So that's gonna that's gonna put a lot of stress on your abs. It's it's working the, the whole abs, but it's directly hitting your top one. So I mean, I, I really like the movement. Um, last last tip I could give you is make sure to breathe. So you want to breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way down, and then a, the little other tip too is. Pick, maybe you could pick a spot on the ceiling. Keep that chin up a little bit. And that's how we're gonna do it. I got no cameraman today, so I got you rigged up on a jug of pretzels. Okay, so what this does, the Arnold press, is what it works is the anterior, which is the front part of the deltoid, the lateral part of the deltoid, which is the back, and the medial part of the delta, which is the middle, some people like to say lateral, it's the same thing. And so when we start off, we're gonna start off in a position like this. So it's in the front, like so, holding them. And this is the protraction part of it. So once we get into it, we're gonna turn, come up and squeeze, kind of full extension. Come back down, back into this position. Boom. Boom, we're kind of turning about midway. So, boom. And then, so once we get to the top, that's the retraction. And that's where we're hitting our medial and our lateral head. Let me give you a demonstration. Okay, so starting off this position, boom. one is the bilateral dumbbell bent over dumbbell row and so again this is working our, our back this is working our um, rhomboid um, Latimer's Dorsey our trees major blah 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 and um the thing that's crazy about this is um like again remember I always talk about everyone's a different height different shape so you might have to fiddle with this and find your perfect bent over. Some people, when they, when they come over with it, they can get pretty bent over. Some people might feel it more when they come up. So see, kind of more bent, bent over, more up. It all depends on, you gotta, you wanna feel it in your back. As long as you're not like rounding over, then you should be good. You, you your back must be kind of nice and straight. So don't round, find your perfect position. I had some people that felt it and they were just pretty parallel. Some people they had to come up a little bit, but as long as you're getting that full extension. So before I hop into this, you're gonna, again, protract the shoulder blades. You're gonna get that full extension. Then when you come back up, you're, you're moving your elbows, pulling them and then retracting the shoulder blades. So you're just pulling them, pulling them back. Protraction, retraction. So here, Coming up, boom, get that nice squeeze in the back and coming back down, letting them drop. I'm not drop, but like full extension. You're not trying to come to here. So right here, good position. 
Breathe in two. And that's our dumbbell row. All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, 
one. Two down the heat. Three, two, one, go. Repeat, don't turn up the heat in your house. It's like a little microwave. Three, in two, one. Alright guys, pause the workout. Have a good Friday.